And as we bask into the last days of the folks at Blender Market doing their sales, there are brand new set of add-ons that are currently available that you might want to consider grabbing and working with. These add-ons are beautiful and what is even more is you can save on 25% by grabbing them right now before the sales expires. And the beautiful thing is some of these add-ons also have some coupon codes which I'm going to put linked in the description where you can grab them. And for those who are thinking about some set of tools that can help them with their workflow or probably get them up to speed with creating in Blender, then these add-ons might just be the right pick for you. And with that said, let's get right into it. And if you're looking for a very interesting procedural tool, then the procedural alley might just be the add-on. This allows you to create interesting environment that you can add to your scene. And this comes with a customizable set of details, which are adjustable based off the details you like to give to your scene. And this could be as unique as you want it to be. The alley currently comes with two different types of alley, which deals with the front alley, where you can choose the style that you want to work with. And you can create a narrow dark alley with street lights and power lines with a set of nodes to transform the alley into a full street of light. The back alley on the other hand is darker, narrow and also comes with a set of back stairs, pipelines, containers, wires and also a couple of hanging cables between the walls. And for those who like to get this, you can simply go over to the link in the description and check it out. So, we all know how tedious it is when creating materials in Substance Designer. The good news is the Simply Material add-on is now available. Developed by JSLAV, creator of the Simply add-ons alongside with Daniel, this easy-to-use tool now makes it even way more easier for you to start creating materials on your surfaces. The amazing thing about this add-on is you don't need to deal with any node as all of the buttons required for your workflow is available and once you install the add-on and start playing with it, you would quickly notice that you have a few set of starter textures which you can work with. And these starter textures allows you to work with about 50 different types of textures and they're properly categorized to fit your need. The workflow of texture creation involves the base texture, which is the main texture, and then you can play with the micro texture, which is responsible for higher details and close-ups. You also have access to working with overlay textures, which can involve blemishes, folds, wrinkles, and a whole lot others to make your model or clothes look even way better. Amongst all of these, you can also enhance your model by adding way more stuff to it. And this includes alphas, extra shadings like emission, sheen, subsurface, dirt, tearing, glitter, and just to mention a few. And for those who are thinking about exporting this, you can easily bake and export these objects and you can use them on any UV surface that you want. The Simply Material is not limited for use on clothes as you can also use this on architecture visualization, 3D game assets and asset designs. Known for the amazing tree and grass library, Botanic 6.7 just like every other release has brought in some very interesting updates to it. So with Botanic 6.7, you now have access to tons of assets that you can work with, which you can also access within the asset browser. 6.7 also comes with a fully reworked animation system, which adds animation to all of the vegetation assets alongside particle system that you find with Botanic. Alongside this, there's a heavily improved performance and this cuts across animation and how the assets perform when working with them within the Blender viewport. It's also worth mentioning that artists can choose to add animation muting, randomize animation, make animations as a lambic, which can be exported to other DCC apps. And at the same time, you can choose to play with the display settings for both the scatter, which deals with the particle system and also the vegetation themselves. And if you've been thinking about getting a wonderful tree and grass library, which you can play with and also animate at will, then Botanic from the folks at Polygonic is currently available and you might want to consider grabbing these. From their global light textures to their car library, all the way to their vegetation set of assets, the folks at B Production have just released their brand new real wood texture. The real wood texture library comes with over 123 different species of tree from five different continents. And these have been grouped into four categories, namely European, American, exotic, and precious. These textures are seamless and are fully integrated into the asset browser. And the texture resolution that you have access to is from 2K all the way to 8K. So if you're looking for high quality wood textures, then you might want to take a look at the real wood texture as this certainly would meet your need. In addition, the real wood texture is fully customizable as it is based off six different wood presets, which deals with raw, satin, gloss soft, gloss high, oiled, and also wax. All of the materials that you have are all PBR and they would reflect based on the real-time characteristics of your lighting within your scene. So if you're a creator or maybe you're into architectural design, interior design, or you love creating amazing renders, then the reward texture is currently available and you might want to consider grabbing this. And when it comes to making sketches and creating assets, the folks at Next Architecture have actually taken the cake for this one. And with a set of tools that just simply allows you to swipe and create assets, they've now released the brand new Next Scatter version 2. 
The next scatter version 2 is an add-on that allows you to scatter anything you want on any given surface. This is a simple, well-shaped, handy and optimized set of add-on that provides you with high-quality optimized and procedural instances that you can work with, with a couple of assets and modifiers that allows you to generate, scale, fix center, minimize the scale, deal with randomization, density, amongst other set of parameters that you have access to. And once you purchase this add-on, you'll be able to have access to 40 plus high quality asset which will allow you hit the ground running once you purchase the add-on. It's also worth mentioning that there's a couple of cool features that are now available with this which includes the instance animation, instance optimization, the scattering, the scattering zones, set of scatter animation, scatter optimization, the camera calling, level of detail, collision interaction, procedural UV, the wind factor, and a few others. So if you've been thinking about an add-on which is pretty lightweight and allows you to do all of these scattering features, then you might want to consider the folks at NextSketch and get the next scatter version too and start creating with it. And if you're thinking about how you can manage your geometry nodes and maybe manage your own library, then the Fluent Catalyst is a unique way for you to use geometry nodes and assets in Blender. The folks at CGTOT have just announced the Fluent Catalyst and this is a very interesting tool to work with. This allows you to build your own adjustment menus without any prior development skills. This comes with 13 parametric assets which replaces more than 100 assets and you can create your own libraries, zip them, package them for deployment. At the same time, if you're thinking about getting started with creating some very interesting things, the folks at CGTOT already have a couple of tools that can get you up to speed. The Fluent Materializer and also the Fluent 2.1 which is a stressless modeling tool. So if you've been wondering how you can create your own set of library, create your own custom menus and submenus that deals with all of the assets that you've created based off geometry nodes, then you can take a look at the Fluent Catalyst which is a geometry node UI and library system that can help you create things faster. And right now, they're doing a 25% early access sale which you might want to consider taking a look at. And for those who like to grab this and save up on 25% of this, links to this alongside the coupon code for the 25% is going to be in the description so do well to check it out. Sculpting in its sense can be pretty tricky and understanding how to sculpt the character and more especially stylizing one can be even way trickier than it is. And this is where the how to create a stylized head in Blender comes in handy. Danny Mac has created and put together an amazing set of cores that will allow you create character heads from working with 2D references all the way to creating your perfect looking character. This interesting course comes with 8 detailed lessons, 8 3D reference meshes, a set of 2D reference images and a couple of planned updates in the future. And for those who are thinking about getting started with this, this is currently available on his Gumroad alongside on his Blender Market where you can get it. Now the cool thing about working with this is he gets to do a show and tell of every single thing that you need to understand when creating your model. As this progressively explains how you can get started with a simple base model all the way to how you can fine tune and create an amazing model. So for those who are looking at getting into stylized human sculpting, this is definitely a course that you should consider getting. And we've always talked about the idea that lighting is a very integral part of creating your 3D scenes. And lighting gives a whole new definition to your scene which makes it even one of the most important aspects of 3D design. And with that in mind, the folks at Altab have just released the Altab Lighting add-on. The Altab Lighting add-on allows you to control all of your lights in one place. This is packed with over 50 different presets which you can play around with to get different styles of lighting which essentially would generate different kinds of look that might be perfect for your final scene. This also comes with a good number of presets which includes the warm, cold, cinematic, studio or atmospheric lighting. All of these are made available so that you can easily create the mood that defines the scene how you want it to be. This beautiful add-on also forms a part of the Alltab Studio add-on and you can also benefit from all of the future updates that comes with this. So if you're interested in making materials and you would like to play with cameras, some scene utilities, then you might want to consider taking a look at the Alltab Studio where you can get every of this interesting stuff but if you're just looking for lighting add-on, then the Altab Lighting is a very interesting tool and you might want to consider checking this out. The VDB Lab is a powerful and customizable tool for creating explosions. From emitters to domain settings and to powerful shaders, you can easily create and save your own explosion, shockwave, area debris and do some endless possibilities with it. Currently, this ships with a couple of presets that you can work with and like the RBD Lab, the VDB Lab works with modules which means that you can start adding emitters and you can modulate this shape it to however you want. And this in turn will give you some very interesting results to work with and just like you want it, this works with a set of models which can allow you generate hundreds of different types of explosions and this non-destructive way of working allows you to change any parameter of your explosions at any time. So for those who've been thinking about an explosion set of tool 
which can allow you to play with a couple of models that deals with your explosion from shading to domain all the way to focus model down to flow module then the VDB lab from the folks at RPD Studio might just be the best pick for you. So tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. All of these interesting tools, add-ons and also very impressive generators are right here and you might want to consider grabbing them right now that they do have a discount off. And of course, if you like this video or you learned something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And until I see you guys in the next one, peace.